Hey everybody, Elisa here with another Vera Bradley Bag of the Day. Today, I just wanted to do um, a quick video showing a couple things I got, unexpectedly got, in, um, <laughs> in the latest uh, Vera Disney pattern, which is called, well there are two sort of coordinating patterns, and um, the main one was Mickey's Colorful Garden. And uh, the coordinating one, which is also the lining with, for that, is called Mickey's Colorful Meadow. Um, guys, just, okay. Fighting over toys, as usual. Okay, um, so, <laughs> I'm not in Florida, so, uh, unfortunately, so, um, you know, there's no way I was going to be able to get to the store to pick out anything in person for pattern placement and people watch my videos they know I'm just sort of crazy about pattern placement um, unfortunately <laughs> so so when this pattern came out I just kind of put it out of my mind um, but uh, I was having trouble doing that because one of the Disney characters in the pattern is Pluto and I'm a dog person and then you know the more I thought about it the more this pattern just became all about the Pluto figures for me and um, I would have been interested in a tote except that because I feel like you get a lot of fabric with a tote so your odds are better for getting decent pattern placement if you're ordering something sight unseen um, but uh, I ordered a, a, a one of the previous recent patterns, Disney patterns. I, I ordered when it went on sale from Shop Disney, and um, it had a weird feeling. The lining, the construction of it, had a weird feeling. It was very crunchy, made a lot of plastic, a plastic sounding noise, like the batting in between the pieces of fabric may have had a plastic coating on it or something. It was real, a real turnoff, and it's still kind of expensive, even though it was on sale. So I sent it back. Um, so uh, I'm not a big fan of the triple zip and if people probably know the Disney uh, patterns don't come in a wide range of styles and so you're kind of limited so I thought oh, okay what can I what what little item can I get to sort of satisfy my need for Pluto <laughs> and so I went with a I thought okay well the medium cosmetic and so I went on eBay and I started looking around and none were coming up. So I thought, okay, this is going to take me a while. I'm just going to be patient. And then eventually, every now and then, one would come up, but it didn't have the pattern placement that I wanted. Or Pluto was on the back. Um, and I particularly wanted this p figure of Pluto with the bird. Because I also like birds and I, I used to own birds, had four birds over the course of my life. Um... And so I, I held out, and I'm pleased that I did. Um, and this wasn't too, I mean, it was, I paid more than the, you know, retail, straight retail. But it wasn't too badly price gouged. And, um, I, you know, I feel like well, what I'm paying for, in a way, is like a personal shopper. I'm paying for someone who went, goes to the store and picks out the pattern placement I like. And so uh, I sort of justify it that way. And this was well photographed on the website. Like, this, this, uh, this was... The only one this person was selling, um, and so I knew this was the one I would be getting. Because some sellers, you see, they have more than one of the same I style item, but they only show you a picture of one. And so if you don't want to take a chance on pattern placement, you have to sort of reach out to them and ask to see other pictures. And it's just kind of, uh, just becomes more trouble than it's worth to me. I don't deal with those kinds of sellers. But this seller was just selling the one and she had, I assume it was she, I don't know. She had a photograph well and she had the back and also photograph. And so when I saw, um, you know, this Pluto figure on the back, along with the Mickey and Minnie, I thought, well, okay, this is the one. I'm glad I was patient because I had been looking at another one um, that had this figure of Pluto, but he was on the back. And, you know, this is just like the regular medium cosmetic and your other patterns and so it has that pocket on the front when I opened that I saw it there it was Pluto again with the um, the bird but that wasn't photographed on the listing so I was surprised pleasantly surprised to see that there's Mickey in there um, this does have a plastic clear plastic lining which I will cut out um, I know Peggy I said I was 
going to show, start doing that, I'll do, do that in a video where I start to, to cut it out to show people the technique, but I, I want to be super careful with this one, um, and so I'm not going to... I don't want to risk messing it up. So I'll do it um, hopefully soon with a, another bag. I have a, a lot of bags that I'm you know, probably going to cut linings out of. <laughs> but just to mention, um, I did cut the lining recently out of this, which is a vel was a velvet clamshell cosmetic uh, pouch. And I thought this was just, I just would show this because it's interesting. The lining was not quilted. The previous one that I cut the line, the, the plastic coating uh, lining out of, the, the fabric lining underneath was quilted. This is not. This is just like kind of loose fabric. But it worked just as well. Same technique and it worked. And I just wanted to mention that I was able to keep the tag in there. You know, it's easy to just cut the, uh, cut the lining out without disturbing the product tag. So I think I just thought I'd point that out. That's nice because I, I definitely want to, I mean, I'm not going to be reselling this or anything, obviously, but um, it does have that Disney tag in there and I'd like to be able to keep that in place. And so now I know that I can, which is nice. Um, anyway, so that was that. And then that was all I was really intending to get. Um, but in looking around at the listings for this pattern, <laughs> um, I, I saw this zip ID and this is I have a bunch of these items but I don't really use them for IDs I mean I, I guess they're good if you don't want to take a wallet you're just like I have used one of these once when I went to a concert and I just wanted something I could slip in a pocket and I just like crammed my ID and my money and everything in here <laughs> and so I do use it in that in that way but I uh, I don't really uses as it's intended most of the time. I'm using it to sort of store other things in my drawers and, and stuff like that. But anyway, when I saw this uh, piece of the fabric with the two of them napping together, I thought, oh, well, I, I have to have that. It just kind of reminded me of Duke. Um, I, I feel like that's, that's why this pattern, I couldn't get this pattern out of my head, was, you know, because... I associate anything with dogs now with Duke and you know feeling like I you know since the end of last year when I lost him I, I haven't been doing too well and so anytime there's anything with dogs I kind of associate it with him and so uh, it kind of made it hard I, I didn't buy this immediately when I saw it but I kind of bookmarked it and I couldn't stop thinking about it I said what are the odds you know I hadn't even seen this on you know the bags and things that I was looking at H hadn't had a section of the fabric with this particular um, part uh, on there. So I thought, well, you know, if I don't get this, I'll always be thinking about it and wishing I had gotten it. Um, and so this is the, again, this is the um, Mickey's Colorful Meadow um, coordinating print. And I, like, I, I think this, you'll see this in like the Carson cell phone crossbody and maybe the, I think there might, there might be an all-in-one crossbody with this as the exterior. I'm not sure about that. And so people probably know this has a piece of fabric, the zip ID has a piece of fabric in that inside separating into two sections. And so this this part wasn't, the outside of this was photographed well. And this person was selling multiples of this, but each one was its own listing. And that's how they should do it. That's what good sellers do. This way you don't have to wonder which one you're getting or you don't have to reach out and ask them can I see the pictures of all of them and then choose you know so I appreciate the seller knew what they were doing and again was I did pay more than this you know the tag price but that's what I'm I feel like I'm paying for the personal shopping aspect of it if someone is there and can go and look for me and I can pick you know the pattern placement I want this way it's like a service, you know, you're sort of paying for. And then when I opened it, I saw that there was Mickey in there. So that was a nice surprise. Unexpected. Um, I do, you know, these, these flowers on here, like I said, all about Pluto. Because these flowers, I just wanted to show for people who are interested in this pattern, looking at this pattern up close, they can't get to a store. Like, I couldn't get to a store. These big orange, pink, uh, 
lavender. They're very hot, these flowers. They kind of remind me of the larger flowers in a foxwood pattern um, that are just a little garish to me. They're a little hard to take. And this is very kind of hot, warm colors, very fiery. Uh, they're kind of crazy looking. <laughs> Very like Little Shop of Horrors, Venus flytrap, kind of. Uh, they're just a little, almost a little icky for me. But uh, like I said, all about Pluto. Just some more of the flowers. I think it's an odd color combination here of this background color with the colors used in the flowers. Very jarring. I do like the background color, uh, you know, in, in and of itself. I mean, it's very, it's like tropical water kind of color. Uh, very Caribbean kind of color. But in combination with the, the pink and the orange, and even this sort of, you know, mustard kind of color that, that Pluto is, it's, it's kind of um, a strong contrast. But very pleased with, with my Pluto um, pattern placement. <laughs> and now I feel like I can sort of put it out of my mind and relax and stop thinking about it, which is, you know, also kind of makes it <laughs> worth the price just to shut my brain up. And, and for people who aren't aware, you know, there's no interior pockets or anything in there. It's just the exterior pocket on, on the, and then the main zipper pocket pouch part. Yeah, ribbon pull ties now. So, anyway. That was it. Just a quick one. Just my, my Mickey's Colorful Garden slash Meadow <laughs> uh, acquisition. Anyway, thanks so much for watching, and hopefully see you next time on Vera Bradley Bag of the Day. Don't jump. Please, don't jump. <laughs>